Uh, well, to be honest, um, I, it was it kind of my mind was pretty much blank from the time I hit the curb until I woke up in the garage. Um, I don't know what to say. I just I you know it was like about a one second when I thought I had control to when I hit the curb, and I just just ended up in the uh, garage over there. Uh, at first, I really didn't know where I was. I still thought I was on the grass um, it's until I kind of noticed that there was a car and a wall. And uh, I was able to wiggle out, and a guy came out, out with a sword, and he said, don't move, the cops are coming. So I sat down on the curb. About two seconds later, the cops came, and um, I don't know if they've just been asking me questions, and that's pretty much what got me to here. How are you feeling now? I mean, you wake up and kind of realize you're in a traumatic situation. What's yeah. going through your head as soon as you realize what happened? Well, I, I was pretty shaky when I got out. When I was talking, I was, I was kind of stuttering and just pretty shooken up. But as far as injuries, nothing. Um, like I said, I was pretty lucky. I didn't wear a seatbelt, and I still managed not a bruise or a scratch. So I'm feeling pretty grateful. You're not sure what made you lose control? Do you remember much about it? I think it was just a mixture of speed and a little bit going too slick. and. And just kind of driving recklessly. I mean, I had the music blasting. I wasn't really paying too much attention. I kind of was thinking, you know, that this ain't never going to happen to me. And you know, karma. You mentioned at one point you blacked out. Well, I, I remember, you know, uh, until I hit the curb, I felt a bump, and then it felt like immediately after that I woke up in the garage. So coming from the curb all the way through out there, I had no. I don't remember. I don't remember going from that 40 yard or 40 feet distance 